My name is Emmeline Caldwell, and I've been attending First United Methodist since 1986. So I've been here 26 years, and I'm a member of two choirs, the chancel, which is mixed choir, and Joyful Singers, which is ladies. I moved to Mattoon for a job with Consolidated, and I've always attended church ever since I can remember. So I thought, well, I'll look all around town and see which church that I like the best. So because the church that I, is my home church, is Methodist Church, I thought, well, I'll go to the Methodist Church first. And I came, and I heard the choir sing, and I decided, well, I needed to join the choir. So I walked up to the choir director and said, I'd like to join the choir. And she goes, what? <laughs> because I guess that's kind of not common for people to volunteer to join the choir. Participating in the choirs is a great joy to me because, as I was saying earlier, that um, it allows me to get outside of myself and to focus on God and uh, actually worship Him and not uh, think about man so much during that point in time. One of the things with choir is that it's an actually an integral part of the worship service. Uh, the directors and the minister work together to pick the hymns and as well as the anthems that we sing so that it all brings honor to God and allows people to focus on Him during their service time. I believe that God works through the choir to bring focus onto Him during the service. Sometimes we're prepared or, or we don't feel we're quite prepared and we're a little nervous about, oh, will we get this right note or will I sing too early or uh, will I not blend well with my neighbor? And we get up here and then it's like somehow God takes it and makes what comes out of our mouths a joy so that when the congregation hears it, they think it's wonderful because they hear our hearts and how it lifts up God and so then they get a blessing and we get a blessing and it's uh, it's just wonderful that's all. During times in my life that I've had many opportunities for growth uh, I've had challenges at work and I've had several health problems and during all of those instances the one thing that has really helped me stay focused and on God and all of that has been the strength of being with the choir um, there's a community here, and um, it brings you outside of yourself because you can't be thinking about the music and the words on the page and think about all this other stuff that's going on in your life and say, oh, poor me. Well, you can't. You have to think about God, and it forces you, um, not forces you, but it allows you to, for your soul and your spirit to express great gratitude and love for God. In the church here in Mattoon, there's many ways in which God shows himself. Uh, we have a program now that's new with the more senior citizens, but we have also have had a great, we've got a youth minister, and we've got this wonderful children's program. We've seen the healing services that have reached out and actually made a difference in people's lives. Um, we have Sunday school classes where people bond and grow with one another in small groups. A lot of people depend greatly on the small groups. Uh, one of the other small groups that I participate in is um, the exercise class. Now you look at me and you say, oh, well, you're not really fit. Well, I'm really not, but I'm better than what I was, and that was a blessing that um, Pastor Ken's wife, Terry, brought to the church, and it's something that Somebody that's not physically fit can still do and exercise and feel better and your body works better and so then your spirit's better and your mind's better and it's just a big win-win for everybody. I would just like to encourage people to find a place, whatever the service is, whether it's doing um, work with the children's ministry, if it's helping with the outreach committee that does a lot of things in the community, um, helping teach a Sunday school class or even participating in a Sunday school class. And of course I would love it if more people would join the choir because uh, when I started I was on the second line of people in the choir and then we moved to uh, 
Then as time went on, I got moved to the third row, and then I got moved to the fourth row. I don't know if they were giving me a message or not, but <laughs> I would gladly give up my first row spot and move back row if somebody would come and join us. That would be great. <laughs>